Joining us now via Skype for more about the impact COVID-19 is having on the entertainment community is Variety Senior Editor Michael Schneider. Michael, we so love when you come in, but we understand, and thank you for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Good morning, both of you. Morning. So with most of TV production shut down, what happens to the rest of this broadcast season and shows approaching their series finales, and what about the late night shows? Well, first, for the scripted shows, a lot of them were near the end of production. Uh, so some shows just ended a little bit early. Grey's Anatomy, for example, uh, ended on their 21st episode as opposed to ending their entire season. Other shows that were going to completely end their run, such as Supernatural on the CW, now they're going to have to wait until fall to actually have their series finale. Uh, the late night shows, on the other hand, they're doing some interesting stuff at home. So hosts like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, they're doing segments actually from their house. They're doing Skype interviews just like this with celebrities, uh, and, and they're going to start returning this week with hybrid shows, a mix of uh, things that they've done at home, monologues, etc., combined with some previously produced segments that were from older shows. Let me ask you about streaming services, Michael, like Netflix and Hulu. I mean, with so many folks at home, those have seen, you know, an obvious surge. Um, and also, but is there a downside to this right now? Well, I think the, the big downside is going to be with the economy. You know, it's it's great for these streaming services that people are watching, but it's more important that people subscribe. And if, you know, audiences start losing jobs, if, if they decide they just can't afford streaming services anymore, then they could still take a hit, even if people are watching more right now, uh, you know, during COVID-19. If the economy really starts to falter, uh, that's going to impact subscription levels. Uh, speaking of that, what has been Hollywood's reaction to the $2.2 trillion dollar relief bill. I think it's been generally uh, received positively, uh, especially by the guilds, uh, which all uh, came out with press releases lauding the, the passing of the bill. But of course, like everything else, it's it's probably only goes so far. And so there's the, still the long term uh, concerns over what's going to happen to this industry, uh, especially if this continues for months, uh, you know, beyond what we know right now. Mm -hmm. And hey, Michael, you know, the entertainment industry is such a, a big industry that's that's reliant on gig workers and there's so many freelancers. So will the difficulties encountered during the crisis result in better better policies for those freelancers? I sure hope so. At least it's part of the conversation. I saw the, cl the clip that uh, you guys just played a little bit earlier, and, and people are talking about this. So I hope, uh, you know, once we get past this and we're all back and, and jobs are hopefully returning, that we can have a real conversation about the gig economy and health care and a lot of things that have been, uh, you know, topics of concern that, you know, haven't really been addressed properly by this industry. You do see people like Netflix, though, popping up and really helping out those mm -hmm. workers with different kinds of funds, and that's been very encouraging and inspiring. Michael, tell us about Variety's weekly series, The Corona Chronicles. Yeah, so we've been talking to people from all walks of life in the industry, not just celebrities and producers, but, uh, you know, people who work below the line, as they say, the craftspeople who work on costuming, who do sound effects, who do editing, who do every aspect of this industry. And we're taking the temperature of what's going on right now for them. How are they adjusting to this new world? How has their job changed dramatically in just the past two or three weeks? Uh, and it's been an interesting sort of cross-section of, of folks adjusting to these new times. And so how long do you think it's going to take the, the business to, to move forward? I mean, what's, what's the impact of this going to look like? The big question is going forward, what does this mean to movie theaters? What does this mean to smaller productions? What does this mean to a lot of those gig economy workers that you mentioned? And and that I think no one knows right now. And I think it also depends on how long uh, this work stoppage continues. Uh, you know, for the, the fall TV season, for example, uh, you know, if, if things are sort of back to normal by June or July, then perhaps productions can get back to work. You know, a lot of writers are busy writing at home, uh, writing staffs are, are communicating via Zoom and other, uh, uh, you know, different video conferencing tools. And there's a way to sort of get this business back on foot. But obviously, there's going to be a lot of money lost and unfortunately, a lot of jobs lost as well. So what's your take, Michael? Are producers and writers still able to pitch via, you know, uh, Facebook and Zoom? Are, there, are, there, are they still like open to, for business in yeah. that way for content? That is something you're hearing a lot of, and that may be something that permanently changes in this, uh, now that you can not only uh, pitch, uh, but you can also cast 
via video conferencing or via video as well. And, and so you'll probably see more of that. So to some degree, uh, you know, the business is continuing. There are some things like writing that you can do, uh, you know, at home in quarantine uh, and you can pitch via video conferencing. Uh, so some basic elements of this industry are still buzzing right now. Well, listen, That's you're going to appreciate it so much more the next time you get to sit at this desk with us, as we'll appreciate you. Seeing you, more. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Thanks so much for joining us, Michael. Yeah, good luck with everything. And this is your morning. We'll be right back. Stay with us.